to have this in my Palmares is, is very special. Yeah, look, it is what it is. All we can do is set the stage, uh, and at the end of the day, um, you know, the writers are the actors who play out whatever they want to play out. Just uh, really proud, really happy to uh, have pulled it off, and uh, I don't think there's a better way to finish it off than that than to win up lofty with uh, with that jersey on my back. So uh, yeah, over the moon. And what does it mean for the team going into the year ahead? Yeah, I think it's definitely a, a step in the right direction, a step forward. Starting like this, I think it's gonna give everybody who's you know back home now training, uh, just give everybody a morale boost and a confidence boost. So. Uh, yeah, I think for the team to start like this on the front foot was so important and uh, yeah, just a little bit relieved as well, the pressure uh, when it's kind of just it's done now, you know, it's uh, it's ticked off and you know, the pressure of the last two days trying to trying to defend and, and go into the jersey and to win and yeah, to, to, to pull it off and pay back for my teammates for what they did the last the last couple of days and all week is, is, is fantastic. And for people who may not be aware, what is it about this event that makes it so special for you guys? Yeah, it's the first time for me and ah, it just seems unique. It's uh, Obviously, it's the other side of the world and we don't, we don't come here often. Um, and just, I think the way everybody's here in the same place and how everything's very well organised and well run. And, and I think it's a, quite, it's a very prestigious race to win and I think... Uh, yeah, to have this in my Palmares is, is very special. Yeah, really, really happy. Mm. Um, you know, obviously designing stages, knowing the road so well, being an ex-professional, I kind of, you, you like to think you know what's going to happen during a race and how it should unfold. But of course it could go anyway with the weather and the wind. But, um, you know, stage two is fantastic. A uh, new little circuit there, which, you know, kind of made it quite entertaining. You know, it's the, Trying to get the ability of balancing a you know a tough, entertaining bike race with also having sprint stages and you know a couple of climbing ones at the end. So it's really designed to attract the best sprinters here for those sprint days, uh, but then have a really challenging final weekend, which I think worked out really well. Okay, um, who caught your eye, Del Toro, obviously? Yeah. Who there was a real youth movement here last year, like 20 year olds that everyone was going, how's this guy going to go? And wow, you know, what, yeah. what caught your eye? Yeah, I think um, we ought to have an, all, an international podium. Yeah. Um, you know, I have to look through the books, but that's probably would be one of the rare occasions where yes. we've had a full, uh, you know, international um, podium. So, you know, that mean, really means and shows to us that the guys are really preparing well. Um, I know I've heard from his manager, Steve uh, Williams, that he was training really specifically for the TDU, you know, World Tour points and World Tour points, whether it's yeah. the Tour Down Under or the Tour de France. So, you know, the whole relegation, elevation system now, I mean, they're, they're the only Pro Series team here and they've obviously come with a mission and yeah. snapped up all the points. So, uh, yeah, it just puts them in a good position for the year moving forward. Okay. What did you make of Del Toro in particular? Yeah, he's obviously got a you know massive talent. Uh, he won the Tour Lavinia, which is uh, a real obvious pointer. Um, you know, Pogacar and all those yep, guys before him have won, which normally means you, you've got what it takes to win a Grand Tour. Uh, obviously, anything can happen, but to win a race like that, uh, be so young and come out blazing in January, uh, he's obviously got some big talent. Um, talking to Matt Haven after the race, he said they they were maybe, or the 
many things that went wrong for Jake Alalula. He said that it was, the race was more defensive than what they were thinking yeah. it was going to be. It was, you know, we saw Matt Lofty. It was only really those last three Ks that the heavy hitters yeah. got to work. Is what's your reaction to how the race unfolded, and does will that influence what you do with next year's course? Um, well, you know, I can't influence how the guys race it. So, you know, I was surprised. I was surprised they didn't go hard on the second ascension up Fox Creek. Um, I really was be blown away by that and speaking to the teams they were like oh we're waiting for someone else to yeah. attack and a bit of a I guess that had a bit of a negative impact on the overall yeah. stage so you're talking stage uh, two, stage two. Yeah, three and then up. stage yeah. four was designed for crosswind and yeah. you know for the first time that I can remember we didn't have any actual yeah. wind down yeah. around Alexandrina Council so uh, you know the weather kind of played played into the riders hands there um, you know but also the speed which they're going up Limes. It's hard for people to attack. They're yeah. only one second off Richie Port's Wollonga Hill King of the Mountain, which yeah. just shows with the tailwind it makes it difficult for the climbers to separate. And in Adelaide, we just don't have that many climbs long enough to really, uh, I guess, different, differentiate uh, an attacking rider to a climber. Yeah. So, yeah, look, the, the, again, it's a real balancing act and yeah. making the race hard but also not too hard being the first World Tour event in January. Uh, whenever, we, whenever we ask you and make this question, they say, you, you say, um, wait and see, but is there anything obvious in your mind for next year that you can tell us? <laughs> um, let's just say I've been working really hard on it for quite a while already. Um, how, yeah. long, how long for next year are you already? I've uh, sort of pretty much got all the stages uh, close to having all the pieces of the puzzle together mm-hmm. uh, and then it's just working out which which way it all is put together of course we want to do something a little bit special we want a bit of a surprise and delight for the 25th edition yes um, yeah so we're definitely out to I, I don't want to spoil any plans I don't want to give you any too many hints but uh, certainly be yeah it'll be something fun spicy. and unique spicy yeah, yeah. Oh, very good well done Stewie, can Thank I you. ask to race highlight from this year what would it be uh uh, the right, just the whole event in general, from the women's through to the men's. I think the whole event is a highlight. Um, you know, stages play out and there's some fantastic, you know, winners. But just seeing this whole event grow, uh, the Santos Tour down under it seems to be just more, higher quality each year. We're getting you know record numbers of riders. We had 36 teams, over 500 people here. Uh, from my seat, it looked like the biggest crowds that I've seen um, since I've been in charge. Uh, you know, I think we've really got that, that past that COVID period where people were kind of a little bit umming and ahhing whether or not they travel and be out on the roads for the last 10 days. Uh, seeing the record numbers was really, really, yeah, it was a really proud moment for me for cycling in South Australia. And feedback from the teams too, it's been pretty special. It's been really positive. Um, I keep asking them, you know, is there anything we can do better? And they're like, well, they, they, they've got no, nothing to give me. So accept positive feedback which you know which we strive for we, we do search for little one percenters and to make uh, make it a great experience for them um, did you luck in with the weather you had that absolutely in Barossa yeah. and then it sort of tailed off yeah well I mean we've had really cool weather yeah. um, you know lots of rain in the build up which didn't help the road conditions uh, you know which made stages like the gorge um, you know a little bit dodgy but uh, the weather was really on our side. Uh, I think it's going to be 39 tomorrow, so the guys dodged a bullet there. Uh, but yeah, we didn't have any extreme weather, which is always nice. Mm-hmm.